Hey everybody, this is Brian with Bear Cards 34. Today I'm going to be showing off my Jordan Love PC. Now this is nothing super impressive. I'm definitely on a budget, uh, but he is my big PC of the last year, which is kind of funny as a Chicago Bears fan. However, I'm also a big Utah State fan. That's my alma mater. If you follow my channel, you know that that's something that was difficult for me, uh, but at the same time, even as a Packer, I'm definitely rooting for Jordan Love. And this week, with Aaron Rodgers out due to COVID-19, Jordan Love is going to get his first ever start in the NFL uh, when they go to Kansas City to play the Chiefs later this weekend. Uh, and so I thought I'd show you guys what I have thus far. Now, the majority of these are cards that I either pulled in packs, a couple of eBay purchases, and a couple from some friends of mine in the community uh, that were random acts of kindness given to me, as well as some that I purchased on some live streams. And so right here we've got a couple of the, the lowest end, you know, Leaf and Hit. Uh, but I, I got those early on, and it was nice to have a few cards of him. Now this is one I did pick up on eBay. This is the Panini uh, Instant uh, 2020 Draft. So Jordan Love was picked number 26. And this is one of 1,175 of this card. Uh, and so I'm happy to have that one in my collection. So just a little bit about Jordan Love. I'll kind of tell you a little about him and just kind of add a few of the cards that I've picked up along the way. So Jordan Love was born uh, in 1998. He's just turned 23 years old. I think earlier this week or last week, uh, he's from Bakersfield, California. Um, at, when he was only 14 years old, his father uh, passed away by suicide, unfortunately. Uh, his dad, Orban Love, had been a veteran of the Bakersfield Police Department. Um, and I remember reading an article uh, from Jordan Love where he talked about his father's passing uh, was obviously very difficult for him. And football became a way for him to escape that. His dad loved football and would always tell everybody that Jordan was going to be a quarterback one day. And at the time, uh, you know, his coworkers who called him Big O would just kind of laugh at him and say, yeah, sure thing, Big O. Um, and part of that was because in high school, as a freshman, he was told that he would not be able to play quarterback because of his size. Uh, he was only 5'6 and 130 pounds uh, when he uh, was a freshman. Uh, but by the time he was a sophomore, he was up to 6'2. And by the time he graduated, he was almost 6'4. Uh, he was only a two-star recruit coming out of uh, high school. And as a result of that, he didn't have a lot of um, offers. Uh, but one offer that he did have was from Utah State. They had recently had some success at quarterback with a guy named Chucky Keaton a couple years earlier. And uh, so Jordan Love came in uh, as a redshirt freshman back in 2017. He started the final six games. And I actually got to go to a couple of those games and see him in person. And you could really tell there was something there. Uh, and the year later, his sophomore year, he had a breakout season, and that's when he really got the attention of NFL scouts. So I'll mention real quick right here this uh, Don Russ rated rookie uh, of Jordan Love I got from my buddy uh, Burke over at Burke Knowledge, so thanks for that one. And a lot of these cards that you'll be seeing uh, I purchased from uh, Brian at BPAT's Cards. Uh, he gave me some really good deals on these during his uh, uh, live streams where you can... Uh, pick cards. Uh, so I want to give a shout out to those guys. Thanks a lot for helping me grow my PC. So as a two-star recruit for Jordan Love, you know, going on to the Utah State Aggies and, and seeing some, some success as a redshirt freshman, and then just having an outstanding sophomore year, uh, he went on to have a very solid junior year and then uh, decided to enter the NFL draft. And so he was the 26th pick by Green Bay, um, they traded their 30th pick and a fourth round pick to Miami to, to, to move up to take him. And I know there was a lot of controversy at the time. You know, the year before that, the Packers had been, uh, you know, a Super Bowl contender, really. And they have, you know, the great Aaron Rodgers. And so a lot of people thought maybe they should have been picking someone who could help more immediately. Uh, but it, you know, was a, a pick that they're hoping will pay off in the future. Time will tell. We'll see. Um, I know that the Green Bay GM had said that 
the reason they made that move was that there he was that Jordan Love was the only player left on their draft board that they felt comfortable taking in the first round. They wanted to make sure that they could get that, so they traded to move up a few spots. And then due to COVID-19 shutdowns last year, there was no preseason for Jordan Love during his rookie year. So for Jordan Love with no preseason, we didn't really get to see him in action at all. In fact, uh, his rookie year, he was quarterback number three, and he did not even suit up for any games. Uh, So very inexperienced after that rookie year. However, he was able to study the offense, practice with the team, uh, learn from one of the greats. Uh, So I think that was definitely something that will help him in the long run, as opposed to some of the other quarterbacks who get placed on a poor team and have to jump into the starting lineup immediately and maybe don't have that development. So during the offseason, there was some... You know, quite a bit of news about Aaron Rodgers and whether he'd play for the Packers again or not. And it was actually pretty beneficial for Jordan Love in the sense that that preseason of 2021, he was able to get a lot of reps with the first team, uh, get a lot of experience, and he was able to finally play in the preseason. And he actually did uh, play earlier this year. The Packers were getting kind of blown out by the Saints, so they pulled Aaron Rodgers and they put Jordan Love in. Uh, He only threw seven passes. He was five of seven for 68 yards. So not a lot of experience yet. You know, time will tell. I mean, I could look back on this video a few years from now, and Jordan Love could be a total bust, or he could be a really good QB. I mean, uh, it'll be very interesting to see how that plays. Now, I will say, when I watched him play up at Utah State, he made some pretty incredible throws. And you can actually see some highlights of those on uh, YouTube and, and, and other sites. But he definitely has potential. He's very physical. He's a great athlete. He's got a really good arm. And he he can make some impressive throws. So we'll see how that translates into the NFL. I definitely think it'll be interesting uh, this coming weekend to see how he does against the Chiefs and how his team responds around him. Uh, So we'll, we'll definitely see about that pretty soon. So one of my favorite brands is Select, and uh, so it's really nice. This is one of my favorite Jordan Love cards right here is the uh, the red die cut of Jordan Love. Definitely love that one. I also have these uh, Prism uh, draft picks of Jordan Love. So I've got the, the base as well as the, the silver Prism. In fact, I think I've got a couple of those. So some pretty nice cards there. And then I've got the uh, red variation as well. And then this one I picked up at my LCS. I definitely overpaid. Um, You know, just like, you know, whenever you're with the hometown. Now this is number 48 out of 99. So it's nice to have that numbered card. It's a nice looking card. But sometimes when you're purchasing cards in the home state of that player, uh, the prices are a little higher. So I definitely overpaid, but I don't feel bad about it. Um, for me, it was a good investment because I don't I don't flip my cards. I don't sell my cards. I collect my cards. And so regardless of how Jordan Love does in the pros, I have great memories of him uh, at Utah State. So I'll be happy with this card for sure. Another nice thing for me was uh, pulling these Jordan Love Prism Blacks. Um, Uh, Getting two of those, and I really love Prism, and I think the Prism Blacks are a pretty cool card. Uh, These come out of the uh, Chronicles set, and so definitely happy to to have a couple of those. That's a nice nice card there for sure. And then uh, I purchased this one on eBay, I believe. Uh, I have a couple of jersey cards, so this is the uh, Next Up Playbook, uh, Jordan Love. Nice little card there. And I picked this one up as well. A.J. Dillon and Jordan Love sweaters. So a lot of color in that. Uh, So this was just a fun little card. And I got it at a a pretty good price too. So I'm definitely happy to have that. And then my favorite Jordan Love card, and the last one I'll show for today, is my only autograph of his. So this is a Trinity 2020. Uh, It's number 37 out of 50. Uh, He has a really cool autograph. He does the J and a heart. Uh, It's got the Utah State colors on the on the uh, player worn patch but definitely happy to have that card in my collection 
So I appreciate you guys checking out my collection. It'll be interesting to see how he does this week. Um, I'm not positive that I'm going to be able to get this to work. I haven't tried it yet. But I do have some, some uh, brief little videos of some of the games uh, that I went to that he attended. So I may try to throw on just a, a snapshot of those videos just to kind of show where he played college, the Maverick Stadium in Logan, Utah, and uh, just kind of uh, give you a little feel for that atmosphere that he played in. Uh, and uh, so if there's anything left at the end of me saying this, that means it worked, and you guys can check that out. It'll be very brief, but just a little snapshot. Uh, if it's not there, that means I couldn't figure it out. My bad. Uh, but anyway, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll be back with more videos in the near future. I have a boombox that should be arriving here any day. And uh, anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Well, it's definitely...